And this is where the identities were born. So we're trying to prove the sine of the difference of angles divided by the sine of B plus the cosine of the difference of angles divided by the cosine of B is going to be the sine of A divided by the sine of B, the cosine of B. We rewrote the left-hand side because we're not lazy. So now we expand that out. The sine of the difference of A and B is going to be the sine of A cosine B minus the sine of B cosine A. Yay. Didn't goof that up like in the last one. Anyways, I'm not bringing up old stuff. The cosine A minus B, that's going to be the cosine A cosine B plus the sine of A sine of, sine of B divided by the cosine of B. Now what do we want to do, see? Add those fractions. So we're going to have to multiply each one of those by 1, cosine over cosine, and sine over sine, respectively. So now we do that. When we take that cosine times that binomial in that numerator to that left-hand side, it's going to distribute in. And you will have the cosine b times that first term, minus the cosine b times that second term. And then we're going to take that, and we're going to divide it by the common denominator. Now, we're taking a look at that second term. We're multiplying top and bottom by the sine over sine. So when we distribute in that sine to the top, it's going to go to both of those terms. And it does. That's the sine b times cosine a cosine b plus the sine b sine a sine b divided by that common denominator. And now that we've achieved common denomination, we're going to go and we're going to add their numerators. Well, we can also clean them up, because cosine b times cosine b is going to be cosine b squared. All right. And then we have that other term. Nothing cleans up in there. And that other term, nothing cleans up over there. But sine b times sine b is going to be the sine of b squared. And that's what's happening right there. Oh, look at that. All over that common denominator. Now, what do you notice in that middle term? Oh, additive inverses, that's the number that when added to the number, the sum is none. They're gone. I see in the remaining part, we have a sine of A common to both of those, and we factor that out. But, oh, look at that. How can I look at that if I can't see that? Yeah. You made a mistake somewhere, huh? Oh, oh, there. B, B, O, B, O, O, B, one more B, and then now, can we see?